welcome back in this lecture of the bachelor function now in this lecture i am going to discuss the orthogonality of the bachelor function for that we will need the bachelor differential equation so the statement is the value of this integral 0 to 1 x j n x alpha into j n x beta into d x is equal to either 0 or 1 by 2 j n plus 1 of x or j n plus 1 alpha over this square and this is when your alpha is not equal to beta and this is when your alpha equal to beta where your alpha and beta are roots of this this Bessel differential equation so solution here you can see that in place of j and x we are getting j and x alpha so let us discuss this j n x alpha. We know that the solution of this Bessel differential equation x square y double s plus x y s plus x square minus n square y equal to 0 is your is Bessel function and it is given by your j and x. So, the solution of this differential equation is your Bessel function which is given by j and x. Now, what about when your x is replaced by say some x into alpha. So, let us consider or discuss the differential equation if consider the differential equation x square y double dash plus or x square d2 y by dx2 plus x d y by dx plus x square alpha square minus n square y equal to 0. Now let us discuss this differential equation. What is its solution? And I will show that the solution of this differential equation is your j and x alpha which is this one. So, let us prove that the solution of this equation is j and x alpha. So, for that it is very easy to prove it. Let your t equal to x alpha. So, in that case your dy by dx will be dy by dt into dt by dx and the value of dt by dx will be your alpha. And again your dy by dx2 will be equal to d by dx of this one. Your alpha is constant, so let us take this one outside. And now let us replace this x by t. So we can write this one as dt by dx. And again, your dt by dx will be alpha. So this is your alpha square d2y by dt2. So your dy by dx is alpha times dy by dt, and your d2y by dx is equal to alpha square d2y by dt2. So let us put these values here. So therefore. So, if this is your equation number 1, hence 1 implied. Now, put the value of x square. Your x is, your x is t square upon alpha square. And then, your d2y by dx2 is your alpha square d2y by dt2. Then, we will have x, x is t by alpha. dy by dx is equal to alpha times dy by dt. And then, we will have p square minus n square y equal to 0. So, this is your p square d2 y by dt2 and your t d y by dt and p square minus n square y equal to 0. And this is what? This is your Bessel differential equation in terms of t. So, that means the solution of this differential equation is j and t and your t was x alpha. So, that means the solution of 1 or say this equation number 2 is your j n x alpha. 
therefore solution of one or say this one h one a so the solution of one or one a is your j n x l four because this is your j n t this this is your basal equation and the solution of basal equation basal differential equation is your j n x now in place of x we are having t so the solution of this differential equation will be j n t and here in place of t we have x l four so that means the solution of this equation one or this equation one a is your j n x l four so therefore let us assume this j n x l four as u and this j n x beta as v so let u equal to j n x l four and v equal to j n x beta so hence u and v are solution of now your u will be solution of this differential equation or solution of one so if your u is a solution of one so we have x square u double dash plus x u dash then we will have x square minus x square into n square minus u equal to zero so say this equation is as two then we will have x square b double dash plus x b dash then x square b double square minus n square v equal to zero say this equation is three now let us multiply two by b upon x and three by u upon x and subtract so two into v upon x minus three into u upon x implies now this will be your x so if you multiply this equation by b then this will be your u double dash into v and this will be your v double dash into u now here your x will get cancelled so we have u dash v minus v dash u and this third term now this will be your x square l five square into u as we have divided this as we have multiplied this equation by v upon x so this will be your l five square into x into u into v and now if you subtract this equation three from two then we will have l five square minus v five square then at our side we will have x into u into v now this term the last one will be n square into u into v upon x this will be your n square into u into v upon x so this term will get cancelled so this is equal to u now this equation can be written as these two terms can be combined and we can write them as x into u dash v minus v dash u equal to we will have minus v dash square alpha square x of u v because if you differentiate this x then we will get one so we have this term now if you write this x as it is then the differentiation of this bracket will be this term because u double we will have u double dash into b then we will have plus u dash v dash then here we will have minus v dash u dash and then minus v double dash into u so that will be this term now let us integrate this equation with respect to x from 0 to 1 so integrating so this equation number h4 integrating integrate equation 4 with respect to x from 0 to 1 we get so this equation will be equal to x into u dash v minus v dash u and then the limit will be from 0 to 1 Now in the right hand side we will have beta square minus alpha square. The integration zero to one, x into u v into d x. Now for the lower limit your x will be zero, and for the upper limit we will take limit x tends to one. So this will be your limit x tends to one, and we will have if you take the value of x one then this will be your u dash v minus v dash u. And in the right hand side, we will have beta square minus alpha square. The integration zero one x u d x. Now, what is your u des? Your u was j n x l four, and v was your j n x beta. So your u des will be 
the difference is not this one with respect to x. So this will be your alpha into g and s x alpha and your v dash will be beta into g and s x beta. So this equation will become therefore say this one as phi therefore equation 5 implies now I am taking the right hand side first so we have the integral 0 to 1 x u v dx equal to so limit x tends to 1 and here we will have u dash put x equal to 1 so we will have alpha into j n dash alpha then we have v the value of v will be j n beta then we will have minus v dash v dash will be your beta j n beta into u your u will be j n alpha divided by beta square minus alpha square so say this equation number as 6 okay suppose that beta is not equal to alpha then this denominator will be not equal to 0 now as your alpha and beta are roots of j and x equal to 0 so that means your alpha and beta will satisfy your j and x equal to 0 so this j and alpha and this j and beta will be equal to 0 so if your beta is not equal to alpha then this is 0 if beta is not equal to alpha because this j and alpha and your j and beta are equal to 0 so if your beta is not equal to alpha in this case your j and alpha and j and beta are 0 so we have the numerator 0 hence the value of this integral is 0 and this is what we have to prove now what about when your beta is equal to alpha so, so if your beta is equal to alpha So if your beta equal to alpha, then you can see that this is your 0. And again, if your beta equal to alpha, then this is your 0, this is your 0. So we have 0 in the numerator. So this is of the type 0 upon 0. So if beta equal to alpha, then your left hand side will be. So this left hand side, say this alpha and g and s alpha g and beta minus beta g and dash beta then g and alpha upon beta square minus alpha square now this will be of the type 0 upon 0 so this is of the type 0 upon 0 so if this is of the type 0 by 0 then we will use our d and hospital rule so for that if our beta tends to alpha then we will differentiate the numerator with respect to beta and the denominator with respect to beta so as this is 0 upon 0 so we can write it limit beta tends to alpha as, as we are going to differentiate with respect to beta so that means your alpha will be constant your j and s alpha will be constant so we will differentiate this term here we have to differentiate with respect to beta here we will differentiate with respect to beta but your j and alpha will be 0 because this is your fixed because we are differentiating with respect to beta so as we are differentiating with respect to beta so this your j and alpha will become 0 and we have alpha j and s alpha now the differentiation of this one with respect to beta will be your j and s beta and the differentiation of this one with respect to beta will be your 2 times beta. Now, if you put your beta equal to alpha, then this will be your put beta equal to alpha. So, in that case, this will be your 1 by 2. Put beta equal to alpha, so we will have j n dash alpha whole square. So, this is your half j n dash alpha whole square. And this is also equal to j n plus 1 alpha whole square because. So this is when your beta is equal to alpha and this is because we have this difference relation and g n minus x g n plus 1 and here your whole j natural function will be the function of x. So as we have this relation x g n is equal to n g n 
x minus x j n plus 1 of x. So put x equal to alpha here. So if you put x equal to alpha, then we will get j n less alpha. So as our x is equal to alpha, so this will be your j n alpha and j n alpha is 0. So this is equal to minus alpha, j n plus 1 alpha. So from here, our j n less alpha will be equal to minus j n plus 1 alpha. So that means this j n less alpha will be your minus j n plus 1 alpha and its whole square will be this one. So this is when your beta equal to alpha and this is when your beta is not equal to alpha. So this is your orthogonality of the Bessel function.